All new at 5, a brutal attack. An 84-year-old school bus driver punched by a student in Concord. Good evening, I'm Morgan Francis. Well, thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Alicia Barnes. Right now, it's unclear what led up to this attack, but Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy was the first to uncover the story tonight. She's live in West Cabarrus High School. Robin, you spoke to the driver today, so what did he tell you? Alicia, the school bus driver says he's doing okay. Incredibly, he says this has not stopped him from continuing to do his job. I spoke with a parent who hopes that 84 year old can continue to work safely from now on. The bus driver was at the school just waiting for the students to get off the bus last Monday morning. You're, you're, you're sitting there, you're a sitting duck. The police report says a student came up and punched the 84 year old driver in the face. There's no reason in my view to go after somebody who can't defend themselves. Victor Turner's daughter rides a different bus from the same school, West Cabarrus High School in Concord. I don't like seeing anybody being that violent, you know, especially when there's no provocation. Concord police say the student is facing a criminal charge, which will be handled through juvenile services. The attack hits close to home for Victor. I actually have a cousin in Kentucky who had to retire. She was a bus driver and she got attacked by a student's mother. And that was just an ugly situation when she was not able to continue working after that. Cabarrus County Schools tells Queen City News we are taking appropriate internal actions to provide for a safe environment on our buses. These actions include utilizing adult bus monitors as necessary, buses equipped with cameras, and bus driver professional development. Victor says it's not always easy to trust that his daughter will be okay. As much as I don't you know, want her to be at risk at all. I also understand we, we all have to take, we all have to live our lives. And he's grateful for school bus drivers like the 84 year old who transport students every day. I just hope that he's able to be as, as safe as possible in, in, his, in his work environment. And that goes for anybody. Now I asked Cabarrus County Schools the extent of the bus driver's injuries and also if the student was disciplined. The school district tells me they cannot comment on personnel issues or student discipline. I also asked Cabarrus County Schools if there were cameras on that school bus and they did not answer that question. I'm live at West Cabarrus High School. Robin Kennedy, Queen City News.